What's up everybody, this is Comic Cap, and today's video is going to be about how to clean and how to press your comic books if you have a press. But before we get started, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit like on that video if you like the video, and let me know any comments you may have. Okay, so this is the book I'm going to be pressing today. Um, as you can see, there is a non-color breaking crease right here. There is kind of a non-color breaking crease here. Also, some other little dots imperfection right here. I know it's hard to see with the glare, but um, they are in the book. I'm trying to get a good angle so you guys can see it. This one's kind of bad. I'm trying to get the right angle. Uh, I hide it for a second. See it right there, running right here. So we're going to press steam that and press that out. All right, so before you press any book, you want to make sure you clean it good. This is the main thing I would recommend to clean a book. Absorine, you buy this once in your lifetime. You use it over and over and over again, and you put it back and keep using it. Um, you're also going to need cotton rounds. I'll get into that in one second. And then I do have these kneaded rubber erasers. I don't use these on every book, but if you have like a residue from a sticker or something these will help get that off not always 100% successful but uh, it's worth a try it does help it does get most of it off so I have these handy just to show you um, and then for the for the steamer that we're going to be using in a second best water to use is distilled water you do not have distilled water like I don't have distilled water purified drinking water which is like reverse osmosis it's going to have the least amount of anything in it distilled has zero in it purified has pretty close to zero in it do not use a regular spring water it's going to have minerals in it that are going to stick to your book and do more harm than good so okay so before you press any book you want to make sure you clean it and even if it doesn't look dirty i recommend cleaning it anyway so you kind of roll this into a ball Kind of go over it if you have like residue on white spots this will actually get it off i really this book is pretty clean that i think um but i'm just going to kind of go over it quickly anyway All right, so once you're done doing that going over your cover with uh the absor absorbing both sides you're going to kind of feel like a eraser like residue on it that's where these cotton rounds come in you kind of want to just rub it over it to get any of that residue off because if you steam it with that residue on it, it that residue is going to be a lot harder to get off so it's best to kind of go over the book real good with one of these guys look see it's already dirty almost looks like a clear salt pad without any chemicals it's just dry cotton rub it on that book real good get any residue off before you steam it and press it so you got a little dirty already all right, one other thing I forgot before, obviously if you have a, a press and you have a steamer, make sure you have te Teflon cooking sheets. You can use these things over and over and over again. And then obviously some backer boards because you need backer boards as well. Um, but you definitely do need these to press a book so certain pages do not stick together. I'll get into that in a second as well. Um, but next thing we want to do is steam the book. So when I steam a book, I typically like to get the backer board in the center of the book first. I've seen videos of guys saying jam it up against the staples. Do not jam it up against the staples. Place it gently up against the staples because you want to keep this book square. What I mean by that is when you press it, you don't want to get a spline roll because you're pressing. So that backer board should be like an eighth of an inch off of the spline of the book. Now when you steam it, um, you think it would be good to kind of do laying down. It's very hard to do because of the way the steam rises. So I'm going to steam the cover. You can burn your finger with this too, by the way. If you look, you can kind of see where that non-color breaking seam is there. That's what I showed you earlier. You can also see this one a little bit here. So this book inside is good, not imperfections to the pages. 
So I'm going to basically on this book only steam the cover front and back. The back cover is pretty good also. I mean, a little bit of imperfections in it. And this isn't a book I typically send to get grading. I'm kind of showing you guys for tutorial purposes. Oh man, just burnt my wrist. So, steam that cover real good, both sides, inside and out. You can see it's getting very pliable, bendable. Almost like it's wet. Because it is wet. So, I'm going to turn the steamer on and steam this one more time. Okay, so on the press I have a backer board, I have a Teflon sheet. I am going to put another Teflon sheet inside the back cover. So the magazine cover does not stick to the pulp pages. Now, when I say pulp pages, if you're steaming a magazine style book, which is a newer style book, you're gonna need a lot of this Teflon sheets. A lot more difficult to steam a new book than an old book with pulp. So, inside both covers, on top of the cover, backer board shiny side down on the book. Now I typically have this set to 170 degrees and I typically do 5 to 10 minutes per side and go from there. Um, some people say that's too hot, some people say it's not hot enough. As you do this a few times you kind of get used to whatever's comfortable for you. If you're doing a magazine style book definitely don't go 170, probably go 155, 160. So I'm going to wait for it to heat up completely. And that's 900 seconds, not 900 minutes. And I'm gonna press it down. It doesn't feel snug when you press it. Lift it back up, tighten it down a little bit, make it a little more snug. Okay, so it's been in there about six minutes so far. I'm gonna take it out, take a look at it, flip it over, press the other side as well. But while we do that, let's take a look and see what it looks like. See if it looks any better already. Slide the backer and the sheet off. You might see this curl that's very common. It curls up, it will flatten out. Best thing to do is leave it in the press after the heat is off. But as you can see, this one looks a little bit better, but it's still there. Might take another steam and press. This one almost gone as well, but like I said, probably another steam and press. Doesn't always get 100% on the first shot. five minutes on the other side and see what it looks like all right so it's been in about six minutes on on each side so I'm gonna take it out now take a look at it see what it looks like like I said earlier it might take another steam and press to get this thing looking the way I want it to look but hopefully you guys can see oh yeah a little better still not there yet still see that crease a little bit Still see this one up here a little bit. Trying to give it a couple angles so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's hard to see with the glare. But definitely better than it was before I pressed it. So sometimes I literally pressed books th three times, steamed them. Like a uh, previous video you saw, I sent some books out for grading. There was Alpha Flight number 17 in there steamed and pressed that three times to get a similar non-color break increase out of the cover got it out for the most part sent it into grading this one I'm not getting graded but uh it is a kind of a old cool book but uh that's it for pressing um I would press it again but I don't want to bore you guys to that so you get the idea 
Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave me any comments. Let me know your thoughts. Take care.